So have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Tesla is adding a $100 fee for people who cancel or reschedule their service within 24 hours. Black Model 3 tweeted out, totally disagree with this new policy from Tesla. It is not like they have a lack of work. Crazy demand for service visits. So if I rescheduled, it's not like they won't have anything to do. Not throwing away $100 for an in-warranty trim piece. Okay, so I just don't understand why Tesla's doing this. Not showing up doesn't cost them any money. So, I mean, I, I have... A theory for this? Oh, okay, let's hear your theory. I think that since in some places the wait time for a service appointment is in the multiple weeks, that some owners may have made a little note on their calendars to make and then cancel or reschedule a floating service appointment that they don't need yet. A floating service appointment, what, so like in anticipation for needing service? Yeah, it was something that I had thought of a while back. I mean, I wasn't going to act on it, but basically when I was waiting a month to get something fixed on my car, I was like, man, if I had just like put in a service request and then canceled it the day of, if anything bad had happened during that time... I would have had a much earlier service appointment. Oh, you mean just everything's going fine for you, but you just put in a service request? Uh, yeah, I mean, because if I'm going to be waiting a month, I mean, it only takes a few people to kind of <laughs> make this system really bad. But that way, on average, they're only going to have like a two week waiting period instead of a month waiting period. But that would like completely mess up the scheduling system for Tesla service centers. Yeah. And I think this might be why Tesla is implementing fees. But I obviously there's a logical explanation. I mean, I kind of like your theory, but I think they might just want to have the service base booked as solid as possible. And people who cancel at the last minute mess up staying at full capacity. But this is obviously not a very popular policy. Yeah, I mean, I hate dealerships, but I've never heard of a cancellation fee. Right. I mean, some like doctors have it, uh, but it's almost never a hundred dollars. Like even if you're like, oh, just kidding, <coughs> I'm feeling better. You're like it's like, I don't know, twenty five, forty five dollars to go to the doctor to see a doctor, you know, who went to doctor school. But I mean, I think that this just kind of highlights that Tesla is still in a real service crunch. Yeah, but pissing off customers isn't going to solve anything. Right, because I mean, rescheduling the day of usually means waiting another month. They won't pencil you in the next day. So if you scheduled an appointment and then something came up, there's already a pretty big disincentive for you to cancel. And I mean, and lots of people are wondering if Tesla ought to give a hundred dollar credit when they reschedule on people. Yeah, I don't think that this is really a good move for Tesla, especially on such an already contentious issue with owners. And I mean, Tesla's moved me around many times over the years and I've never gotten like a hundred dollar credit. So there's no incentive for them to. to I, I never even get a loaner car. So right. it, and, well, and, but like you were promised loaner cars. Right. Yeah. I don't get them anymore. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Aren't you a VIP? Yeah. But no. But no. No. That stands for very irritated person. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.